Pounders, welcome back. Today, episode 14 of The Big Board. Today, we have Steph join us. Welcome to the live stream, Steph. Hello. Thank you for having me today. Absolutely stoked. We haven't done a live stream together since, I want to say, last summer. I think the I end think of last had. summer. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a while. So, <laughs> you've been doing a lot with Corrine on ship chasing throughout the year. Thursday nights, was it the halftime show? Well, uh, they were doing, it was just the way they were doing it in season. So we were just watching, you know, the games, having kind of a watch party theme. And then uh, we did all our high stakes stuff, usually in the uh, third quarter there and okay. talked about everything going on there with waivers and how our teams were performing and all that fun stuff. Which honestly, for all the high better, stakes, it was better entertainment than the Thursday night games. So <laughs> <laughs> it made it made them more enjoyable. That's for sure. Yeah, no doubt. And you have your own write up. That uh, are you announcing it yet? The the move because I don't want to. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, here. No, it's it's been official. It's been official. Cool. Yeah. So um, I was writing. I was writing um, my own newsletter also for waivers and stuff. And now it's going to be this season. All my in-season stuff will be on leg up. So if you are a subscriber, I know a few of the people in the chat are, you oh, know, yeah. you'll be able to get that. And if not, it's a great site. We've got tons of best ball stuff. And I'm also um, collaborating on Dynasty rankings over there. So check us out. Yeah, yeah Steph is sharp AF. <laughs> AF. So I'm excited to see some of these last last couple of rounds who uh, who you have steamed up because I'm sure it's going to be interesting. I'm sure it's going to be some names that I haven't I haven't heard of yet. So, <laughs> oh, you're pretty good at the rookies. I, I'm sure you've heard of most of them. Yeah, we try. It's the first the first week. It was of the big board. It's like, all right, haven't done the research yet because they released the big board. Uh, that two week low period while you're waiting for Super Bowl. I don't think anyone really expected that. That's typically where I hit my my rookie research. So uh it's pretty funny looking back at some of those first teams. It's like I have one rookie and it's like neighbors because <laughs> you don't know. But yeah, it's definitely been diving in and it's been uh it's been fun kind of seeing the ADPs take a shift. Are there anyone that you're still taking a like a large stand on that goes, you know maybe multiple rounds ahead of where you're drafting them. Anyone like that right now? Mm, like a fade stand. Oh, fade or, 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 or a target um, for rookies or anybody. Anyone. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily reaching, reaching, but you know, I think in the early rounds, I stick pretty close to ADP. Once it gets yeah. to probably, Pass, you know, into double digits. I just grab whoever I like there and don't really look at ADP mm -hmm. anymore. Because I mean, I think right now is when it's the least efficient. But I've been doing a lot of zero RB builds and then sometimes hero. I actually have quite a bit of like, I'll say, A chain. Maybe I do take a little bit ahead of ADP early okay. on. Um, I have no Saquon. Same. It's, yes. It might be a mistake though. I think I have I have like two shares out of forty eight trust. I have no Amon Raw St. Brown, and that is not on purpose. Mm. Yeah, it, it's just the spots. I haven't. I maxed the little board, and then mm -hmm. I've only done. Let's see, as I'm looking over here, like fifteen big boards, so not a ton. Okay. So, yeah, so you're like 35, 35 drafts in. So yeah, your your exposures are still taking shape because each time you draft someone, it's going up like four percent, five percent. I'm uh I'm on the other hand, I'm at forty eight big boards, twenty of the the little, but I always separate them differently. Like I don't want to see the littles as part of my exposures from my big boards. So I do I do like to separate them to sort of um to sort of see where where I'm at in the bigger contest with the higher prize pool, two hundred k up tops. Big, uh, big change from the from the 15, 15 G's for the little board. Yeah, I got the overlays also when I draft, so I can usually see, so I can see my exposures. 
for mm-hmm. each contest if I yeah, don't filter it out. Because that helps. Super helpful. Definitely. Otherwise, you have to go through and search and kind of get a feel of, okay, where am I at with, with this guy? And I was taking a peek today, and one of my, one of my exposures that I'm, I'm actually happy with, but I was surprised my number one owned receiver is Jalen Waddle. I think Waddle is somebody that's a little too cheap. I think a lot of people are kind of down on him after, you know, last season. And I take a lot of Waddle too if he's there. I think that's a, a sharp pick. And he's he's been consistently climbing too. He's gonna hop. He's gonna hop hurts. Um it's it's just the writing's on the wall there. But Waddle. Um, let me, let's actually, let's pull them up. Let's pull, let's pull them up. Exposies. Let's hit here. Here's the top. Here's my top exposures. And I really like to take stands early before like ADPs change. I do a lot of zero RB. So Gibson's sort of like a fun, uh, plenty of good landing spots for him. There's just a lot of unknown right now with Gibson. Kendra has been a mega riser. He's he's risen, I think, over 20 picks already. No, Kendra. Yeah, I'm back. I'm overcorrecting. I'm overcorrecting from last year. I'm ready to hurt again. It's fine. It's fine. I I think for me, I'm waiting to see what goes on exactly with Kamara, even though I haven't Mm. been taking him either. So I've just been kind of avoiding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I get it sounds similar to last year, minus the hundred percent Kendra exposure. No, um, <laughs> but I mean, I'm a, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried about Kendra. Like he had all the opportunity in the world and didn't. But he started hurt. Take it, yeah. But he wasn't hurt by he he had some opportunity later on too. You know, yeah. we'll, we'll see. I'm, I mean, I I am hoping right now he feels a little rich. There's a lot of I think mm-hmm. risk still there. That he, yeah, you as, know, he's he's what so, one sixty range, one forty. Okay, so he's range. dropped. A, I thought he was in the one forty, so maybe he's dropped some. He started at one sixty. My bad. Yeah, um, I do. My highest. I do a lot of zero RB. My highest looking right now is uh, Jaleel McLaughlin. Mm-hmm. Another fun one in that range. Yeah, he's he's a. Uh, he looks really take good. there. Is the take there that he? is maybe not the backup that he can maybe outplay Javante. Is that, is that the take? It, it's a it's take. There. It's, it's there. there. It's in the realm of possibilities. I remember we still got, you know, second year coming off ACL <laughs> type stuff, but it was a multi-ligament injury. There's other stuff. And regardless, it's like Sean Payton can put up two fantasy relevant running backs. <laughs> right. Right. So Fair. right now they're both, you know, I think very fairly priced. So mm-hmm. I would take shots on both of them. And I don't even mind doubling up, honestly, where with where they're going right now. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, you know, I mean, it worked for Miami last year. You know, I mean, there's some teams that can, those backfields can support multiple guys. Jaleel's, Jaleel's on my front page. I'm there. I'm there with you with, on Jaleel. So yeah. But I'm definitely, you can tell, zero, zero RB. We have Aaron Jones as the lowest ADP running back on this front page. <laughs> so uh, He's one of the only guys that I really have been taking in that kind of range of veteran crap, yeah. you know, right before. I, I tend to, a lot of times, in my real zero RB builds, wait till the next round after that. But... Um, Aaron Jones is the one I will dip my toes in on mm-hmm. a little bit because he looked pretty good by the end of the season. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Dylan's probably going to be out. Not that I think that matters much. Kim, welcome but, to um, the live stream. Um, maybe so some Jacob on, seven start. The take on Kendra is kind of like multi-factored, right? New Orleans, mm-hmm. obviously, they're not, they're not set up for a deep playoff run. So – the chance of them keeping Kamara with his contract the way it is right now is like in my mind. Oh, they're not zero. Zero. So he's gonna have two two choices, right? He's gonna take the the restructure or or not. So I think there is a little of that maybe baked into why he he rose so fast, Kendra. But also like Kamara wasn't efficient. Three point nine oh, no. yards per carry, like. 
his yards per reception were down like over two yards from the three previous years. He just wasn't efficient. If you look at his longest carry, if you look at his long, I think this is why you're fading him. I'm fading him too, but at the same time, I'm trying to leverage the other side. Like, okay, if I'm fading Kamara, uh, what happens? You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I did that. That was last year. Right, (laughs) right. And he actually, he was fine last year because he got so much volume, but he's going to need that same volume, I think, uh, to pay his IDP right now. Yeah, and I mean, he wouldn't, if he does get cut, I think that they restructure him probably is what it looks like, most likely will probably happen. Yep. Um, as long as he will, you know, take a team friendly, you know, a big cut. Obviously the Saints are in cap hell and can't afford anything else really but um you know because Derek Carr checks down so much like you said it's the volume that will get him there if he goes anywhere else I don't want any piece of him because like you said the efficiency is gone it's only the PPR volume PPR volume here that you could do anything with but I'm with you on yeah his efficiency I was looking at some stats yesterday and I don't have all right in front of me but you know we were talking about how bad Pollard was last year and he was he was uh he had less yards per attempt, I think, than Zeke when I was looking at the order of oh, things. God. So that was enough for me to be like, yeah, oh, not so much. So are you fading Pollard at his new ADP? I don't have any Pollard, but I don't think I'm going to stay there because I don't know. I go back and forth. I'm, I, I, I want to hope that maybe he – I don't know if he's going to drop or rise, you know? It depends. So much is going to happen. Up. If, if you tell me, yeah. If you tell me he signs with the Cowboys, he probably rises. So it's, it's pretty, pretty damn good spot for him that, you know, is they're it? not going to, they're not going to pay a second running back though. Based on his ADP right now, it, I, yeah. I think it would be just because of his role. Uh, he would, he'd probably jump over, over this group. I'd say probably even over Tajay. Um, which isn't yeah. that far. It's ten picks. It's it's really only ten picks because I'd still put him probably behind Aaron Jones. And that's kind of why I don't mind right now waiting on some of these guys because yeah. I just don't see yeah. him jumping Same. to that level, you know. And maybe I will get a better deal. And if not, you know, by the end, things will balance out. Mm-hmm. So we'll um, see after the combine. You know, I'm sure it will have a effect on everybody yeah no doubt no doubt what's uh what's been your favorite late round rookie running back let's say from like we can include like jalen Wright up is it jalen Wright? <laughs> jalen Wright. oh jalen Wright's like at the very end and but, he has gotten so much steam lately yeah, he like is. he is he's, he's steamy. About to get more. I know, like people are all over him. Um, I like him. I like him. I do take him. Um, in that range. Um, another guy I was taking a lot of was let's see. For a while, I was taking some Lob there, some Shipley a little bit. Okay. Running backs. I mean, of the rookies, those are probably. The later pick, I had some Frank Gore, but then I stopped dra- drafting him. Yeah. But I did see him at the Shrine Bowl. He looked pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. Like, he he can uh, make some guys miss. He had a few little jukes. Mm-hmm. Are, are you in or out on the Ray Davis hype? Oh, yeah, I like Ray Davis, but he's risen past where you were talking about. So I yeah, didn't include true. him. But where, where is yeah. he? Is that like 180-ish now? Yeah, and yeah, I mean, and he and I see him for some reason usually go earlier in that. Mm-hmm. Once it gets to the late round, if I need running back, I'll reach on him a little bit because mm-hmm. I do think he's a little bit better. I mean, he's a little bit older guy, but he does everything good. Right. Yeah. Like he's and just age, really well rounded. Age is, I think, it's fine. I how much tread does he? have on the tires let me take a peek i have let's see ray davis 32 that's catches and here they go career so 197 carries it's not like he's 
and he's what 24 and a half yeah he's we'll, older we'll see we'll see maybe maybe he'll be more nfl ready <laughs> maybe that'll help him be nfl ready i don't know but there are so many good landing spots that need running backs and that's sort of why my exposure to antonio gibson is so high um with the mix of the free agent class not being the sexiest um yeah, Antonio Gibson at forty five percent. It's give me sort of like the the unknown, but there's there's less unknown that this person could at least produce. Here we go. I mean, anyone's got to like him better than Washington. <laughs> I I would I would think so too. And again, like he's gonna have he should have a pretty safe role in the passing game when a team's taking him is at least my thought. And then I don't know, I'm pairing him with a ton of rookies too. So that's sort of like giving him a little bit of floor, I think to those, to those rookie teams, but um, fades anyone else besides like the Tony Pollard that, uh, that you like to fade in these either early rounds or anyone that comes to mind. Mm, let's see. Like I said, Saquon. Yeah. Um, Saquon's a spicy. I, is that is that because you like the range of receivers around him, or you just think efficiency's going down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, he just hasn't been very. It's been a while since he's been very good. Now I don't know. Is it because the Giants? You know, Sucked. o line, <laughs> it's... or has he lost a step? You know, he's had some injuries. He's getting a little mm -hmm. bit older. You know, he's. I don't know, and I don't know where his land is spot. And also, like you say, a lot of it is structure wise too. Just that I tend to go heavy on the receivers. I mean, yeah, I'll take the zero you know, RB in you. <laughs> I mean, I will. Like I said, um, either do first or second round running back with most of those guys. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have a lot of, uh, JT either just because I don't know. I'm, I'm a little skeptical on him as well. You know, I want to see exactly what the Colts do. Yeah. And a rich, we don't, we don't have a full season with a rich and JT and how many touchdowns would he steal on the goal line? I, I do think there's a little bit of risk to, to JT. I've been soft. I've definitely been soft fading him um yeah that yeah that's close to what um i would say i also lighter on Pittman, but i really like downs mm -hmm. yeah so you're leveraging that, that so i'm too. leveraging that one a little bit i haven't actually gotten any a rich she's gone on almost all my drafts really Oof. early <laughs> i'm i'm lucky that where we started drafting i grabbed my a rich relatively early but uh i still i'm still taking him i still find myself drafting anthony richardson because of the upside oh yeah he's, i want he's not on purpose yeah but people like him so <laughs> yeah but he's then gonna, again he's those... gonna go over stroud this was always gonna happen this is eventually going to change oh uh, it I, should i think I don't love okay. the Stroud ADP. I've probably mostly because Nico is a soft fade for me in the second round. So I don't find myself taking as much uh, Stroud. And then the price seems off to me too. Like 20 picks in between Stroud and Burrow. Yeah. So do you have a lot of Dell or is it, are you low on Houston uh, in general? Early. So early I was grabbing my Dell shares and that was one of the write-ups in the draft guide when he was at pick like 36 um basically fading nico taking taking dell but now i think <laughs> now i think they're both expensive uh houston do they bring in another receiver this team's going to bring in uh a running back i think they they have to at this point i agree with the running back i think they could very well bring in a receiver, whether it's one of the free agents or we'll see. Yeah, right. I, like, but, like, but their offense is going to be good. That's the thing. I mean, I do want pieces. It's true. Exactly. I mean, exactly. they're good. They were good last year. And 
and I'll take the pieces, I think, but man, it's this Stroud. I can't get around the Stroud ADP. I know he had a phenomenal rookie season. It just sort of, I'm getting like deja vu of Trevor Lawrence, the Trevor Lawrence uh, year two price skyrocket. Yeah, but Trevor Lawrence didn't do it. Stroud did his rookie season either. <laughs> true. Very true. And we'll see. Do they just re-sign Noah Brown? Like, I don't think. Noah Brown goes too late, like too late if he resigns to Houston. Because like 205, something like that. I still have a hard time. I know he like did some great things, but I remember him as a Cowboy fan and <laughs> like Noah Brown is not that good. <laughs> like I don't know how he got that good on over there, but uh, I mean, but if they sign somebody else or, you know, get somebody else, then there's a good chance he'll be the odd yeah. person out. And I think there's a good chance they keep Schultz too. Yeah, I agree with that. I, unless you're going to do something odd like the Patriots and like let someone go and then bring someone else in that's lesser. Like if you're going to bring in like Noah Fant or something, just uh, I would say it's probably like 80, 85% chance Schultz gets re signed there. So yeah, it feels. I think, yeah. What's going on with the Cowboys? This team needs a wide receiver too. It's like Jake Fergie Ferg is basically the second favorite target there. They got to bring in a receiver, right? Is there a free agent I, you like, a rookie? I mean, there's a million rookies I like. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, this class is just, you know, stocked. I mean, free agents, I don't know. You know, Jerry never, even they, I mean, they have some money, but Jerry's just so cheap. I don't trust mm -hmm. who he'd bring in, you know, at all. But, I mean, it's either going to be a free – I mean, but they'll probably bring in somebody unless they could get a cheap free agent running back, you know, because they're going to have yeah. to draft a running back or get a running back and a receiver. And then we got a lot of holes, you know, and oh, yeah. we, we need linebackers uh, really bad. We need, you know, some – O line. I mean, we, we need a lot of stuff. So, do you think they'll resign uh, Rico? I think Rico will probably stay, but he's never going to be an alpha. Like, right? You know, he, right. he was he was an okay backup. Like, I mean, he did well on his thing, but he's never going to be a workhorse. He's, I think, going to stay in the same role. Yeah, as a complimentary no back. It almost feels like to me that uh these teams that want to make a push deep in the playoffs. And that's obviously, that's obviously Dallas. Um, is there a rookie that you really, that can make that change to your team right now? Mm. Or are they going to have the result to like, all right, let's bring in discount Eckler or let's bring in discount Derrick Henry. I mean, I, I like, you know, Brooks, Estime a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Estime is like a word I could us. Yeah, I could see that. I could see them maybe going for like Braylon Allen. You know, he's really young and he's really big. And that's about it. He's really young and he's really big. But, you know, <laughs> they like big guys. 6 two, two, tend to. Big he's, boy. <laughs> he is up. And he's like barely 20. Yeah. But yeah, Estime looked good to me. Um, Troy Benson could be awesome too. Yeah, I like I like Benson. I mean Brooks, I like too, but coming off the ACL, I'm not sure what we do because there would be like a gap how, how that would exactly work. How about but, uh are you on Kendall Milton at all out of Georgia? No, I haven't been. Okay. This is this is an this is a pounder special here from Adam. Um take a peek at at, at his highlights. Might, okay. might surprise you. Might surprise you. Kendall Milton. Okay. Yeah, I haven't, All right. I haven't looked at him yet. So So we get CMC and then five wide receivers, six wide receivers. Ah, uh, yeah. God damn. I was like, give us Brees at nine. Puka or Bijan here. Um, hmm, let's go ahead and go Puka. 
Let's have some fun, she said. Let's <laughs> do our we, – so we talked about zero RB, so let's let's do it. I would have gone for Brees, though. Stay true to the guns. I can't I mean, come on. Put, you know, being on legendary upside, if I didn't take Brees, you know, Crane's boy, what would I, I – Kind of sucks though, like getting this type of up chart. I was looking forward to at least like the first week of the big board, like give me some late round two Brees. No, we never, we never got that. He was priced appropriately right off the bat, which is kind of annoying in a way. But uh, I've seen some real Brees truthers go uh, Brees 101, which is interesting. Really? I have not seen that. Like, when do you get? CMC, when do you get lamb when you do that, you know? Yeah, I mean, I always like to take whoever is the 101 at the 101 because, like you say, it's hard to get. You only can get them in those spots. You know, other spots you can reach up or back. You know, guys are going to fall to you. But you want to be even with the field. You have to. Uh, why don't we go ahead and, you know what? I have hardly any Marvin Harris. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Tops off. Um, sh quick shout out to Nick, who's joining us in this draft, and Frank. We did tip off the YouTube memberships as well as the Patreon members. Kind of exciting news. We got the – I finally finished updating the draft guide ADPs, which is a, a huge pain to copy and cut and paste all those names that change. The second edition is finally out. It will be released, I think, tomorrow. 27% fill rate. We update it every 25% just about. And uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully Nick will take a look at those ADPs and uh, <laughs> and where I ranked them. Make sure I didn't make any blunders there. But last time, Nick and I only had like five players out of the 220 that I ranked that uh, we had a small difference in. Yep, doing, doing rankings is... Dude. With other people is... Uh, you, you learn. Dude, we had uh, Jalen Wright as an honorable mention. And this was back when Odell was ahead of him. So the first edition of the the draft guide, our honorable mentions, we, we had some, we definitely had some huge risers in there. Marshawn Lloyd's another late running back that had yeah. ranked aggressively. And yeah, I, I do I, it based, I, yeah. based on like value. So like, I don't say like, hey, this is my rankings. I basically say, Based on their ADP, this is a bad value, good value, a great value. Or uh, it's like an unknown risk-reward type player like Samir White. So what are you doing with White? Do you have a lot? He's purple. <laughs> and, and those players, I don't want to be under. I don't want to be under 8%. Uh, even the ones that I don't like, like I'll be at field with White. I, I do think Jacob's returns and if that happens like, right like where does he go yeah. if such and such happens and if he jumps up 30 picks if jacobs leaves you should have you should probably have some white and i think that happens uh same thing with chase brown if mixon doesn't resign or restructure where does he go well the dude rises uh how far it probably goes in this Najee range i would think um, I don't know. Chase Brown is one of those. I I could see him getting steamier than he should. He would. He would. And then what happens if the latter ha like if Mixon resigns or restructures? Um, what happens if Jacobs resigns? Like, dude, White's going. <laughs> White's gonna fall to like one seventies. He's just a handcuff at yeah. that point. So it is tough to be underweight. On those players with the unknown that we have yeah. right now, just kind of the way I see it, because you'll never catch up in ADP or in white. Now. White isn't. I, I'm not convinced that white is as good. I think Chase Brown is better based on numbers too. I agree with that. Oh, oh let's see. What a like tank there, 33. But uh, you know, snippy snip. No waddle here. Lo oh, shout out to Logan here too. To even see him in the six spot. Uh, I'm cool with do, Florida, I know you. I'm cool with receiver. You you want to stick with the zero RB and you want to put you want to do Evans or I know uh, you were kind of I knew you were high on him. It's I was waiting for a name. I was waiting for a name. We'll go with Laporta. This is good. This is fun. 
that's fine. I yeah, have low, yeah. actually, I have low exposure on him, not on purpose again, but he is a little rich. It's not that he's so rich. It's just that there's so many good values mm. of guys, I think, that could match him this, in that this, pocket afterwards. But I do this like is getting good for my portfolio. Items. This is good for my portfolio because I'm typically grabbing two of like these guys. That's, in this where, so, that's where I'm at. So this is good. Now, honestly, like the Laporta price doesn't seem too off to me when we look at the prices of the other high prize tight ends, I guess you can say, like the top, you know, ADP, set top 70 ADP. I think these guys are a little based on where Laporta goes. Like he goes at 30. So Kelsey goes a full round after you're not seeing like Kelsey in the first round at pick six. And then the next tight end off the board at 32, you know, that's a much bigger price jump. Yeah. I think some of these guys might be slightly underpriced, which is where, like I said, more than, I mean, Laporta did great. I mean, Give us I definitely am not going to be or, fully fading him. No, he's I, there. I'm cool with either one. Of um, these. I'm probably huge on Keenan. I, he's one of my higher. I think at this point, he's way too cheap going in the fourth round. Yeah, as long as I do. He keeps doing I, it. I, I, kinda I, like I, I think though. Mike's kind of like it. So, like Keenan Allen, I do think with the age, what we saw last season, he had a full healthy season until the very end when you needed him the most. But you have Marvin Harrison Jr. on this team too, where it's like, okay, he should be at you know his best point towards the end of the season. So uh, Marvin's going to come out guns a blazing. He is ready as ready as ready. Especially if he gets the landing spot, like Arizona. Um, and again, we'll we'll see if some trades. Dude, Alpha's in here too. Did I just miss like everyone's? Alpha's in the two spot. Nick's here. Logan's here. We got we got five pounders in this draft. Yes. So so uh, are you doing a lot of two tight end builds or three? Because you said you're taking two in that range. I'm doing a lot of three still. Even if I grab okay. two, like say my first one's Bowers, my next one will probably be like Pitts, and then I'll go like a 19th round tight end. Um. I don't think there's really any harm in that, especially like we don't have, we don't know about bye weeks, which isn't really huge for tight ends, but for QBs. So I do typically find myself drafting three QB teams. And something interesting from today, a little discussion on, uh, on Josh Allen and how his ADP started at 16. And then these QBs, like this group was even, they started even later in ADP I can pull it up. But basically doing an early fade on Josh Allen and grabbing these QBs like Trevor Lawrence, who was going way too late and Kyler, who was going later than 90. Um, you were getting such a better price on these middle round QBs and even whatever, like this tier, like this tier probably goes too late. And Richardson started after 60 started, I think closer to 70. Um, now I'm actually more willing to take Josh Allen because these QBs price have come up and now you have Josh Allen who's fallen to 20 and I, I got him at 24 earlier today and that felt really good. Are, are you stacking him or are you just I try? I try. I get, who are you I, stacking? With? So Diggs, Diggs went early. Cause obviously if Josh Allen is falling to 24, like people have to go before him. <laughs> so it's, um, uh, who am I stacking? I'm trying to get Kincaid. That draft specifically, Trey McBride fell 17 picks and Kincaid goes directly after the McBride pick, like three picks before me. I I like the Kincaid stack. Um, I'm sort of out on the Khalil Shakur price. But basically trying to find, I guess, rookies. So, you know... I would go read here. I don't have a read share. Seven you don't? Picks after, seven picks after ADPs. Okay. I was going to I was gonna give you an out because I know that he wasn't your favorite, but let's do it. I, I like read. All right. Cool. Cool. 
I think this might be. My I didn't want. Year. I didn't want to. Over, I didn't want to over push you. You know, like no, no. Test me. I know. Test I know me. you like a little more balance sometimes. Like I will go pretty extreme. At, I definitely at go times. for. I definitely go for balance because if I get someone that falls that I like, I want to be able to take them. <laughs> and sometimes that's like the trap. Like yeah. maybe. Maybe there's someone that follows you and you can't really afford to take them, but you try to do it anyways. And then you like look back and you're like, yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was the mistake right there. I've gotten better. Like, I mean, if there's a huge fall, I, if it fits in my structure, but I'm not going to like torpedo my team to do it. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. But I never really go in with a plan. I mean, I always take what you're asking me. Like I never go, okay, I'm going to make this one a, zero RB build and this one a hero build and this one, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. Got to take what is given. Can we take Richardson since I have none? And he's Let's sitting there Richard. looking all pretty on the top. And I almost said that last time until you threw out, you know. At 64, 100%. His ADP, yeah. Yeah, That's, he's never there for me this late. At 6% fill rate, A. Rich was at pick 70, uh, 62, excuse me. Plus, he's the classic, like, you don't need to stack him. Yeah. Right? You can get there on the I ground. mean. And we can get late downs. That's what I was going to say. I like downs anyways, late. Who else? Let me take a, I have these, the ADPs up of where these people started. Kyler was at 93. Tua really hasn't changed. Trevor Lawrence really hasn't changed, I guess, all that much. But he still seems like a good value. I'm yeah, taking Kyle. a lot of the rookies too. I mean, that's another thing. I think that they're going to, you know, there's going to be some hmm. that are going to be ready and they're, they're going pretty late. I feel like they're pretty good values right now. Where do we like, how much steam does Kyler get? If Marvin Harrison does go to Arizona. I mean, how much should he get though? I mean, I, I'm not going to say, I'm not saying, I mean, it's, I mean, like, I think he'll get steamed, but it's not going to be wrong. I think it'll probably be right. Yeah. Cause I mean, I think people forgot. I mean, I think Tyler's going to get, if he has good receivers, he should do a lot better this year. And if he can finish the season, it's kind of, that's a yeah. big one. That's a big one. Fields is interesting. I mean, His ADP is sort of like in that risk reward type group where I don't mind taking a shot on Fields with the unknown. If he falls, I take him sometimes, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to take. I don't take him at ADP unless I have like a stack. No stacks. But, you know, whatever in my head, the, you know, I'm, the story I'm telling myself. Look what we did to Kamara's ADP. <laughs> The pregame show got Kamara fallen. Oh, and uh, the other guy I take zero of below him, Nick Chubb. Yeah, I'm not. I am totally out on Chubb. I is that is that because you think we'll get negative news and he will he will fall? Is it because he could be cut? I think it's. I think he will be cut things, because right? his debt. Well. <laughs> His, I mean, they're gonna they save money cutting him. I mean, his dead cap is not that much, yeah. it's way less than his cap hit. And I'm sorry, but you know, I have a little bit of a background in injury stuff, and it scares me. I don't, I just don't know if he's ever gonna be the old job. I'm just seeing this. Spike actually asked the question his age and the mold, you know. I mean, this is not his first injury, and it was a multi-ligament injury, and he's older, and yeah, I'm not saying, you know, I mean, so we knock, he's so not going to be at down. that level. We knock and, him down on stream, and then we draft him directly after. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> See, um, uh, this is where I might pull up the RBs. Let, let's I see like who's James there. Connor here. A lot. I would take Connor over them probably, but I'd also, God, I'd want to take Najee over them. Jeez, what's wrong with me? Things I never thought I'd say. 
you know Connor's going to miss four games. You know Connor's going to miss four games. Basically, average well, five yards per carry last year. If the offense is better, if we expect them to get Marvin Harrison Jr. more sustained drives, more red zone trips, who's on board? <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna have to take rookies late. So when he go. goes down, we'll have yeah, some we need, guys coming on, we, right? We just need Antonio Gibson. That's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> I, it, I do not. I take a little bit Antonio Gibson, but you know my grocer guy around there that I do is now. Sometimes I'll take. You know he's not leaving necessarily. Is Miles Sanders too? I think is now yeah. hit that basement. If I don't get Chuba, I do still take a lot of Chuba. But I mean. Honestly, I I tend to go mostly for rookies if I'm not done at running back. Because, you know, it's gotten gross. Like, I try to be kind of dumb with some of those positions. Let's it seems it. like receiver is so deep. You know, you can get some rookies somewhere. That's just yes. kinda, like, yeah. tight ends are disgusting late. I agree. I agree. You're I, really taking shots on basically rookies or like no offense is one of my favorite clicks. Brevin Joy. Yeah, I, I did, those are the two late guys I probably gravitate towards the most. I'm not in on the late tight end rookie. I'm not saying that there's a couple that are maybe could be okay, and, but I don't think they're going to come on like what we saw. You know, they're not the same type of well, prospects as. Laporta. Yeah, some of the guys that were going late last season. Yeah. Not yeah, you know, Dynasty, sure, but you know, as far as still wanting them to produce, it's I think people got a little carried away. So uh, I do like I like say Enders, but who do you like? Oh, I was talking about the late tight ends, but let's oh, look at you want to do Kyler? Kyler makes sense with James Connor, Marvin Harrison. I mean, since it's, we're stacking up and I we're, we're really only going off RB. Yeah, Sorry. we're only going to quarterbacks though, so we're done at quarterback, so we can get an extra RB. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, there's no way we need three with this build. I find myself doing this. I think in like 98 percent of my drafts, where I have four receivers before Dobbs. I tried it's, to get those receivers. Like, uh, so you know, last year we had the cliff was Bateman, where we, you know everybody was always like. Damn it. You know, as long as we get our, you know, that was like where the tear drop was. And right. this, I, it feels like to me, I found out my new tear drop is DeAndre Hopkins for some reason about. Yeah. It's like, that's about where yeah. I want my, I usually, it's like, that's about my four, mm -hmm. sometimes five if I'm really, you know, getting fancy, but at least four receivers. And I usually feel pretty good then about yeah. doing some other stuff before going back. Nice. That's where I feel solid. Um, I think I'm in the same exact spot. So like before Dobbs, I, I guess I'm including Watson in with that crew. Uh, I'm scared of Watson. <laughs> I know yeah, you were. I mean, it's it's one of the no. Nah, last year I was at eight percent. He's he was purple for me basically. Like he's one of those risk yeah. reward guys. Like his single game but, ceiling is very high, but he's probably too expensive. I don't want none of him because if he can pop for one game, he probably bankrupts you. Like Mike Evans two years ago in round two, way too expensive, but he had an he has an insane single game ceiling. We know he has that forty point ceiling in him. Uh, to have none of him, I think is wrong in best ball specifically. If you're doing cash, I do games, have, if, you're, yeah. if, if you're doing cash games and just doing you know the whole year total points scored. Completely different. Completely different. The only thing I will say is that Evans, it was in the playoffs that you needed him. And mm -hmm. right now, you have to also get there. And Watson may not help you get there. And then the other thing is they were talking about, you know, they have no idea what to do with his hamstrings. You know, they were, they don't know what's causing it. They don't know how to prevent it. And soft uh, tissue injuries uh, are just horrible. Like, there's yeah. a good, he's another one. He may, you know, he may be in and out all season, you know, might not finish are, games. And are again, you best Debo? ball. Oh, no. I, I'm i all, I still take his, Debo. I still his, take guy. His you. broken hammy you love, but. <laughs> well, they haven't told me they don't know how to fix it. 
the dude's in and out of game, so similar but different. What worries me about uh, he, he Watson? Tough it up what worries me about Watson is we saw him finish the season like healthy after his rookie year, and then he came back hurt. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing, dude? Running on the beach? Like, what happened? I mean, Watson's had some deep catches, but he's never had a Debo type season. Like, he's never done the things we've seen Debo do. No, they they saw they're not the same rookie player. year though. Yeah. He, he smashed. And he did it in like six games. Um, I know who we want here. I don't know if he'll um, fall to us. What's your thoughts on Swift? He's, he's someone I really haven't clicked uh, a whole I lot. will take him after the other guys are gone mm -hmm. in this tier. Like if I need a running back. That's fair. But he's not someone I'm targeting because... There's a lot of like I don't know where he's gonna go. I like the and I don't know, player. you know. Let's see. We're really pushing off RB if we do this. We can try to we get have, to we already have an RB. You don't want to know how many times I still don't have any RBs at this point. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. I think Connor was going what I love the third this round range. in the past. I love this range for RBs too. Like it it is. I mean, that's what it, it's like. These guys, yeah, they they're either going to rise or fall based on news. But I mean, there's so many guys here. Yeah, there's a lot of people that are going to hit. Off. Singletary's yeah. too rich, though, right? He, I, I can't, I can't. I, I, I don't have a ton of Singletary. Um, I took him the other day just because I, I said I take a lot of Chuba. Again, I, um, I think he has the lowest. Yeah, right. But I think Carolina, with them paying Miles Sanders, has a lower chance to bring in a running back than than Houston. So I think yeah. That makes oh, Houston, Houston's sense. gonna. Yeah, Houston's gonna bring somebody in. I think. Chuba, so, uh, Rashawn, yeah, Samir. I like Chuba because I think that we need. I think he's the most stable. I think we can bank on him. Like we said, I mean, he, he was the lead back there and i think that there's you know he's gonna have a role where you know there's a lot of, we don't know about a lot of these other guys exactly what's going on and right now we want let's get a few solid things and then we could get a few more flyers i'm probably mixing in both i i think i do have more rashawn over chuba just based on if caleb goes to chicago we're expecting probably just but, a better performance from everyone on this team I do agree with that, but it did worry me that he didn't hold his role. Towards the end of the season, you're saying like when Khalil mm -hmm. Herbert sort of had some of his better games? Yeah. Well, Who's I mean, that? you know, and then, yeah, and then to Foreman, you know. But that was because he, he had he, a concussion. He was out. Yeah, but, but he didn't get his role back. Then he lost it again. Foreman by the end of the season was inactive, though, I will say. I do yeah. take both. But I mean, there. But I, some of these guys, it, it didn't. It didn't instill the confidence I want. You know, where we want these rookies to come on and show that they're the guy. He didn't quite do that. I know. I know. And I feel like it was like time of opportunity, and then what the hell happened? We're just like yeah. clashing, like bad. Like the second Khalil Herbert goes down, Rashawn Johnson gets a concussion. He misses that game. And he misses a whole nother game. Like the guy missed two weeks, basically. And then Foreman smashed, which gets Nick and I to the dog bowl in Miami, which is funny. So it's. Oh, that was that week. Right. The three touchdowns. That's right. Where, I remember where, now you guys were taking Foreman. Everyone we was one falling the at the teams. one yard line. And yeah. Foreman's like, oh, thanks. Like, I got this. Um, so I do think he was a little unlucky with the run out. But uh, you probably do see something close to 50 50, 60 40. Uh, and I do have a lot of Khalil Herbert. Yeah, I mean, I do. I, I definitely don't want to fade the backfield. I like the backfield. I'm just not sure who to take exactly. I, and, you know, I I'm go back and forth. Chandler, though. <laughs> really? I'm out on Ty I've been Chandler. Taking, I've been taking Ty Chandler some. I think in this Which, range, he's fine. You know, I was a Madison fader last year, right? Oh, I was. I, I had a couple. It's funny. I had actually a couple of Madison teams that did really well, but I had hardly any of them. So 
that's probably one of the more like vocal Madison faders. Um, and even this year, he started at 190, and I ranked him in the red. And the dude dropped 30 picks. Oh, since then. <laughs> I, I haven't even looked like He's, that. That doesn't even cross my mind. I haven't even ranked a, in Dynasty for crying out loud. <laughs> He's <laughs> he's dust. He's bad. He is they, dust. He dust and dust. Minnesota has a dust. chance to bring in a running back, though. No. Yeah, but again, I mean, everywhere's going to have more than one guy. I mean, there's not going to ever be just one guy. Yeah. I don't mind doing. This um, is interesting. This one is of the, I was going to say I like I like I like the rookies too. Um, yeah, I I was looking at Brooks. I. I go to my. Uh, this is all interesting. I want two of these three. Yeah, I four or five. See again, Ford. Even though I don't like Nick Chubb, I still haven't been taking much Ford for some reason. Because I, I mean, I, where I'm leveraging the shit out of the other side. Like, but he I'm, didn't do that. But he again, he just didn't do that great. And I mean, I'm kind of waiting to see what happened. Who they bring in, or they're not going to have Ford. Ford is not going to be by himself. And he lost stuff to Kareem Hunt, dust ball. You yeah, know, again, that's just, that's just the offense running, you know, two RBs. But the thing is, towards the end of the season, they couldn't put Hunt out there as much as for Let me pull up the splits, actually. But then Deshaun doesn't check down either or use running back. So, you know, that's another this. thing. Because now he just feels a little expensive to me. I don't know. If you have the, what happens. If you think what's going to happen to Nick Chubb happens, he's going to fly up the board. Then I may not have much of that backfield. Yeah. And that's okay. That was, that's, man. If what's I mean, even, it depends. What's even crazier, I'm, what's even crazier is everyone's drafting Deshaun Watson over Joe Flacco. Well, I don't think they're, they're not very far from that, but. Come on, you have to. You have to. Uh, they, they, they can't. <laughs> they. That's what happens when you uh, mess up. When and Dax, someone... speaking, yeah. speaking of quarterbacks getting paid a crap load, Dax is going to probably be the highest paid quarterback in history pretty soon. Damn you, Frank. <laughs> I want to at least put the pressure on. At least have the chance. All right, let's. He's, I'm so I'll sorry see. that Ford went. It's it's probably Herbert over Benson here. See, this is where I would. I usually take. I would take Jaleel over Herbert, probably. Wait, wait. You'll take Herbert Herbert's Herbert. Vision. But I like Benson over both of them, honestly. All right, we need. You're scared. Two, You're scared. Two, no, no, no. We just need two smash landing spots now. It's fine. We're I know. Do We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Well, well, okay. So I'll let this would be one that I'd say, okay, we could do Gibson late instead of a rookie late. Did you love oh, your yeah, Antonio? No, oh, we're gonna need. We're gonna need Gibson to. Come we're gonna need. Season. We're gonna need a lot of stuff. But one, we also fun pairing, fun pairing a tight end that I've been doing when I do draft Laporte is with Sanders. Hey, you're not gonna. I. I, I that's what I was talking about earlier. You know, I like Sanders. So Sue falls to us. Larry, welcome okay. to the live stream. Trey Benson is a boost. Yeah, so Sanders, Sanders is Dallas. my highest owned tight end and then Bowers. So I, I like I do like the rookie tight ends. Let's go. If you guys are just joining us. Slap a like on the live stream. Make sure you're following Steph on Twitter. The link is in the description of the video. Drop a sub if you like the if you like the content. Come hang out with us. All right, all right, Larry Brooks is going to Dallas. But like I said, I mean, I'm all for that. I just want to know what we're going to do until he's ready to go. Because I don't, because he's not. I don't. I'm not banking that he's going to be ready to go. See, you know, week one off his ACL. Right, and that's where. But it's I, tough but, I, but I love him like as a running back. Like he's one of the draft favorites. capital will probably be telling based on what doctors met with him, and I, I think you'll get a lot of news. Like if he's a round two guy, they got really good news on the injury. If he falls, it was a, three. Oh, I forgot what. But it, it's a doubt. I believe it was a doubt. 
one of the doctors for one of the professional sport teams that did, did his, his surgery. surgery. Who's Dallas? So, uh, yeah. So it doesn't surprise me that they're – and Dallas is – I mean, they injuries don't always scare them. I mean, they, they take some chances. You know? <laughs> Tony, Tony Pollard I, I mean, it means – but break yeah, but as far as drafting, I mean, they'll take, you know, guys that were should have gone earlier that tend to fall a lot of times mm -hmm. and stuff or, you know, veteran injury discounts that don't work out so well. But I mean, I, I could see them. It makes sense. I could, I could see them taking if he like makes it in the second round or something. I like this team. I like this team. We're drafting. I'm drafting different. You got me drafting different tonight, Steph. Challenging oh, yeah. me. I'm scaring you. <laughs> I am beyond scared. I am beyond. Anchor, anchor Connors. I mean, come on now. <laughs> I know. If Davis is was still on the live stream. I was going to say, uh, where where is Davis? Right I thought he'd I saw him earlier. He'd be dying right now. Yeah. This is his dream team. <laughs> this is his dream team. Uh, we didn't. We should have gotten Audrey for him. I mean, then he would have really been excited. This team, oh man, god damn Frank! I hate having Frank behind me, and he's got two clicks. He's probably he's probably good at RB for now, though. He's got to catch up. I'm a, we'll scare him. I think it's Algier. Yeah, I like I like that. I take a lot of Algier. I feel like there's a big teardrop after him. And I do that. It's like a lot of times I like those rookies. So it's like when I have these two picks, I'll do the same thing. I take Algier and then whatever rookie falls back. Yeah. You get it. So I'm like, cause there's, there's that group that I'm like, I like all of them. And that, that, that way I get a little exposure to everybody. It, it's perfect change of pace back. And he's atop the three handcuff, right? Bijan goes down. It, he can assume a large, a large role where, not every handcuff running back you can say that about. I mean, we, he may not even have to go down. I mean, hopefully, now that Arthur Smith is gone, it will be – Bijan will get a little more work. But Yeah, he's that's what I expect too. Nice. Are we just – So how, how long do we have to wait on tight end, you think? Because our next pick – now if we want Sanders – I don't want. I mean, it's getting pretty gross. I think we I'd should say it's Sanders. now. If you want Sanders, oh, here's the the Steve Smith steam. Twenty five picks. All right, let's go. Let's go, Sanders. We can stop it too with the Porter and standard with Sanders. Yeah, and the, I That's mean, the, when we get to the end, we'll see. We yeah, don't have it's, to. It's rush spicy. Anything. It's spicy. It's definitely spicy to stop in a twenty round draft at these two, but I without do the little, landing I mean, spot. I mean, Sanders is still coming off injury too, but I think he'll be all right. He's been all right. I like this. We got a good base at receiver. Fun we can team. add a couple sleepers at the end. What are your thoughts on Mingo? And if you like Yuck. him, just... Disgusting. Why? I, think I liked I... him last year. No, he. we saw... I mean, come on. He couldn't beat out Ann Thielen. Mingo, yeah. I didn't like the tape. Like, when people are like, oh, like, last year's big board. Like, you got to take a look at Mingo. I'm like, I don't know. And then he grabbed the draft capital, right? He went in the second round. So it was like. That, that was it. Oh, Morgan. shit. Like, I'm, be I'm behind. And then he rose to, like, 125, 130. I'm like, I'm all set. So kind of like sticking to your guns and not always following like the capital, not always following what teams do. Um, you got to be I mean, with your exposures at the end of the day. You got to balance. I mean, again, it's sometimes I get it's hard for me to separate best ball and dynasty. What especially when we start getting into the rookies, but um, it's like because yeah, we're not gonna have you know have these guys forever. It's just the season. But, um, you know, when you're looking at them, it's like you got to balance things. I mean, I'm still, when I see draft capital, when I look at breakout age, you know, I'm looking at all those 
things when I'm like, oh, I like this guy or I don't like this guy and I see these flags. But I mean, if you don't see the production, you don't see other profile stuff, you can, you know, you, you can weigh that in, like, you know, just because he has that. But yeah. Again, I mean, what a team says about what how they feel about a guy, he's gonna get a shot. Now he may suck with that shot. But if they draft him early, you know, he's going to get on the field probably sooner than later. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I'll say, and I'd grab a third QB with these two. We're really leaning into the fact that A. Rich is a top five QB, stays healthy, and then Kyler being a good value. So I don't think you have to grab three here. I'm not saying it's wrong to grab three, but uh, based on their ADPs, that's enough capital for me. Yeah. I'd rather stock up on since I mean we did wait a while on receivers and then obviously we waited a long time to draft. You know, it's, running back. Like we have a big Adam gap. Thielen, Adam Thielen at pick 177 and still gonna fade him probably. I have taken him. I'm not gonna lie, but right now, I mean, let's see, pull up just just what? Do you, seconds. Uh, you want to do Mitchell? I don't have much. I don't see him. Oh, Elijah? Uh, Keaton. <laughs> I was thinking Elijah Mitchell. <laughs> um, I don't think we have the team for him, especially if Jonathan Brooks starts injured, Mitchell starts injured. I'd rather the guaranteed touches early. Think oh, come on. on. Team ACL. I'm kidding. Team knowing. <laughs> yeah. I, you told me to go quickly. Uh, we couldn't pull it. My brain uh, we, just went right to Elijah. I was like, all right, Elijah, 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 Elijah. Dude, Elijah. No, I did that too much up. last year, and it did not help me. How the, thing is, <laughs> the thing is, like, the year you don't draft him, that's the year it's going to crush you. I would say I'd, I'd be at 8% on Mitchell. All right, put, uh, put the receipt. Let's look at receivers. We got we got some time. Let's see. Yeah. So uh, I, dude, Adam Thielen, if he's still there, I if Thielen makes yeah, yeah. Thirty picks. Thirty. I still hate it though. I still hate it. And uh, he was makes really sense. towards the end of the year. Yeah, I was going to say I like probably Pearsall or maybe Rice. Yeah, damn it. We have the Chuba. I I'll have. To bring it in. We could do it. I, it makes I sense. It. I, I, I have it. some. Here's my one share of Adam Thielen this whole summer. It's right here. 30 picks after ADP. And I I'm still glad, have so much pain. I, I'm glad that I could help, you know, be the person to. Yeah. Psych wise, you, you helped me by saying you have some. <laughs> I have so much courage. I mean, he's falling. Time. He's falling. I, see, I don't have very much courage, Samuel. I like the free agent status where we could get a fun landing spot and he can't demand a ton. But he's getting land. older, but he's getting older he and is. he's been injured he a lot. And I mean, there's this is a great class. It is. A lot of these guys are not but, gonna. But we even saw like great class, right? Like Rasheed Rice still took time to develop. So like these teams that these, need, most of these guys are better. Now, yeah, these guys are better prospects. So most of but them. I think when you're bringing in free agents, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It depends on the team, but yeah, I also want to be drafting for those last weeks, not the beginning of the season. Oh yeah, with without a doubt, without a doubt. But he's a, he's always been a great Spike Lee type guy. No, I mean if if he really falls, he's just like I guess I just tend to get rookie happy in this range at this point, and I just like to have fun. I'll look for guys like if I have a stack, then I'll take some of these other guys like with the quarterback. But other than mm -hmm. that, a lot of them, I'd rather mm -hmm. get some fresh blood. Yeah, and there's time for that. We still have, we've got four rounds left, Steph. Four rounds left. Four rounds. We're probably going two RBs, uh, one receiver, one tight end, or 
two RBs or one RB, one receiver, two receivers, one tight end, something like that? Yeah. One, two, we one, two, two. We could lean into these two or we can go one, two, one. That's sort of the way I see it. I mean, we, we have some quite, we're pretty flexible. I mean, we kind of just see who falls. Like if yeah. there's a big fall or anybody. Yeah, we. I would say we would need two RBs with this group. Connor, Hubbard, I mean, Brooks, Spencer, and you, here. Are you sure though we could, you know, go, we, we could get our Carolina stack if you want to do three quarterbacks. No, no, I'm good with these. I, I, okay, just checking. I wanted, with, I wanted to with this squad specifically. With this I'm squad. Teasing. Last, oh man, was it yesterday? I tried getting a, a Bryce Young, like a late Bryce Young Mingo stack, and they go pretty close to each other in ADPs, I believe. Where's Bryce Young? 195, and Mingo goes yeah, he's right there. at 200. And I got sniped on Mingo. I was like, come on. <laughs> end up with naked Bryce Young, which is that's life. I think that happened today. I posted in the in the Discord draft grades. Naked Bryce Young. It's, let's go. It's like I always it's like this guy and I'm like, oh I do need some of like whatever player and it's like I never take them. I always see them fall and then it's like the right. one draft I'll decide I'm gonna take them in. So exactly. every time I get sniped. Exactly what happened. Nick brings in Dobbins. It'll be fun to see these see the patterns drafts. From this one i am not Logan's touching guy. dobbins i'm not grabbing a whole lot grabbing when he falls he gets a 10 pick fall on him all right this is the point that forward. we're gonna grow down because i don't like anybody really then well yeah I'm unless you wanted to do dill but i think you could i don't know can we wait on dylan and do some of the who, rookies are there we can wait on rb we can grab our receiver if we Or tight end, which kind of grows. We don't need tight end unless you. You, you like receiver here? Yeah, let's see. Yeah. For me, it's Burton, Mooney, Thrash, Jalen. Um, why don't we actually go? I like Thrash. Public. I'm trying to see. I might. Going to get our I guys. Need, I need it Going bigger. To get our guys. I mean, I switch it up. Like, I take almost, like, that's the group I take a bunch of. But, I mean, I I, I want exposure to all of them. I don't want to be. I mean, we're going to learn a lot at the Combine, too. Combine and then landing spot. It really does matter so freaking much. Oh. Chris Rodriguez. <laughs> Am I the only one drafting this guy? Am I the only one? I don't think he's a bad. Guy? I don't think he's a bad pick. He makes sense. But he's not someone again. I I'm trying to be done close to now with RB, and I also have a problem that I can't stop clicking. Is he Evan? Is he again? Is your Lebanon kind of? I can say it when I'm not on stream, but every time I'm on stream, it's like my tongue gets tied. But I do, mean, do is he? Want to bring? I don't in... think they're going to bring in anyone else. We could do. I don't think we, well, yeah. Ooh. At RB. So what about? Sanders off the board. Dylan. I just had a really gross thought, but then Is I'm like, he... no, they'll probably get somebody. What about? This is, this is probably a top five handcuff, I would say. Taj, I like this. This is a nice little sleeper here. Uh, in the 20th round, you typically don't need to go. Really? Game. You're the first. You know what? This is my first Taj share, and he was on my list um, for guys I wanted. Taj, Taj to... is, he's going to be on an honorable mention list uh, for the next. I, I got him. Um, I saw he, him also at, at Shrine Bowl. Let's eight do seconds. You like Brevin or, or yeah, yeah. Go Brevin. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw him play. He he looked pretty good out there. The other yeah. Washington sat the game, so I was pretty mad. I didn't get to actually see him in person. You know, like Rice gets all the love there, but uh, the thing with Taj, though, like the the red flag, this dude's this yeah, there's some red small. flags. This dude's yeah. small, there, fast there's... as fuck. Yeah, I haven't, like I said, I haven't actually taken him yet since so my first share, but he was on my uh, list of super sleepers. That 
it was probably mostly when like all the because there's I've been in some of these big boards where all of the rookies that I like tend to go like if you're in a sharper mm -hmm. room so he was kind of on my list of uh I haven't seen anybody drafted so glad Facts. good to know that you and the guide are on him so now I'll have to uh be aware that he may not be this there this is this is big facts here from Adam. Sam, we're going to give you like 600 yards and five titties. That's all I need. That's all I need. It, and like two of those touchdowns come in the same game. Uh, we didn't actually get Taj. Taj went one pick before us. Oh, this is, that wasn't yeah. us. I thought that was no, you. No, we, no, we in Brevin wow. Jordan. But this, we took Brevin I'm surprised, Jordan. I'm surprised to see him go in the 18th. He's typically like an 18th round guy that no one... I haven't seen I'd him say he's mixed this. in like 30% of the time of drafts that I've seen, even maybe even less. I don't think I've seen him drafted, period. It's so funny how, like, for right now in February, how much sharper the ADPs are, like, this early. Everyone knows these last round guys. This 20th round is not, like, the easiest to draft anymore. Like, you get there and you're like – after Israel abanaconda has gone, after Chris Rodriguez is gone, it's like, okay, <laughs> at RB, we have to dig. And like everyone sort of has their guy. Like some people like Michael Carter or one of these rookies here, but no. uh, the sure thing is, is not there. The sexy pick is, is not we're, we're, staring you in the face anymore. Yeah. We're in, we don't need, uh, I don't know. Michael Carter's just, he's never going to be like, and anything more than a role player i was that's what i was like we're not handcuffing arizona no. backfield hell there no. hell no that's that's not a move i want to make so receiver receiver running back i would i would say we have two picks left mm -hmm. i'm okay. yeah i'm good with that if izzy's there we can we can bring in izzy i think that's a good pick investor says just draft frank or jr <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't overly impressed with his tape, but. I was taking him some early on, and then, like I said, I, I leveled off. I want to see him at the combine or going. Here's here's a click that people aren't. Uh, I don't even um, know who that is. <laughs> the Russian leader. A lot of people like I really haven't seen, you know, who's been bringing him in a ton. It's because you don't know him because he plays for Troy, he plays for the Trojans. Five eight, two fifteen, two fifteen is fine for, for five eight. Like that's that's a thick boy. Yeah, but we we may not want to take that big of flyers. I mean, two hundred ninety five carries, six. Yeah, but sixteen hundred rushing yards. Most on rushing the Trojans. yards. Of, yeah, I know. I know it's the thing. That's the problem. Like right? the competition isn't the same thing. I right, can't see who else is there. I like Israel well, Benaconda. Let's do it, Izzy. And then, cause, and then we can. Uh, we're going to time out, aren't we? Oh, oh I, no! <laughs> we get the Keenan <laughs> stack. No, I was on the other screen. That's so <laughs> all right. Let me where did that's hilarious that I, I don't even know because he was he in the queue i guess he was next on adp no i that's hilarious on, i queued him on this screen and it didn't register that oh my god i queued him on this one well it's okay what if he What's hear me out difference? what if he's the guy you need what if he's the guy you need that's wild week 17. <laughs> all right so we're sticking Oh man, now he goes to for extra pain. What do we need more? A running back or a receiver? That person's in. Uh, where are we at? How many? Puka Harrison, Keen Allen, Reed, Josh Downs, Thielen, and. and oh, Rash, we we Connor, need Hunter. yeah we we. I say RP. No. We can lean into this group. I'm cool with leaning into this group. Yeah, we. Because we only have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we, there he I is. Think we, we, we need eight. Dude, Frank's Frank's at nearly like 30%. Okay. I'll, you'll have to All like right. message me these guys because I mean, I don't remember the name. All right. We'll pull up wide receiver at least. Uh, this is a fun clip. Yeah. Cowing, Millen. 
Yeah. I'm cool with Jalen here. I would love Bryce Young to be Chris Rodriguez. Is that weird? All right. This is just like, all right, 20, 30 picks, 30 picks after ADP. We're it's living a little. Bad. It's not even that bad, to be honest. Well, I mean, we do have a stack. Yeah, we got a we got a double. You want we can count Chuba. We can count Chuba. Uh, yeah. he's, he's good for twenty. He's good for forty last year, which is crazy. They were just always behind, though. I don't think they're going to get that much better. All right, so we need we need one of these two, Brooks or Benson, to be. I mean, a those top, are a top twenty. A top twenty. Those are the Arthur. two best backs in the class by far. Yeah. Yeah. With ideal size on Benson too. Like it's a small class, a small thick class. Like you got a lot of guys that are like five, nine, like two twenty, like little tanks. Yep. But better That's, than tank. Oh. So gross. That's the classic, like when someone steams them up, I hop off the shift. Like jump right off the ship. Israel had been a kind of last year, steamed up, jumped off, but I jumped onto the Kendra ship. <laughs> so it didn't really matter. It didn't uh, matter yeah. at all. I was on both like before they were drafted at all. I mean, that was so much yeah. fun last year. Like guys were not drafted. There was like you say, like people have gotten so sharp. Yeah. Yeah. You have just a wide list. And even like Kendall. In a million, um, right now in this range, like I don't mind the Cody click. Eric Gray's interesting, but he barely played because of injury last year. It, with the Saquon leaving, like there's just some, there's a lot of unknown here. Um, I guess Kendall was right there. All right, let's take a quick peek at that that draft. That's hilarious. It was meant to be clearly, clearly meant to be. You know, it, yeah, we, you got to laugh. We had to have something funny happen, right? It, it'll be memorable. That was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> when I see when I see Carolina, you know, killing it, I'm going to be messaging you, being like, "Hey, how is that team?" I, yeah, I, every honestly, every every catch. We're always looking for that offense. Here we go. Here's a selling point. We're always looking for that offense that's mispriced, underpriced, undervalued. That's I mean, you got Arizona. Arizona could be killing it. <laughs> I think so. I, th I think that's a good one, even though they're relatively expensive. <laughs> All the pieces. Sure, at least we're, cor too. we're very correlated, at least. At least yeah. we're no, no naked quarterbacks. So let's hit. Let me make sure I have this up. All right. Alpha in the two spot. Dak, Purdy, and Carr. Nice pairing there. 31 picks after ADP on Carr. Real nice. Bowers, Johnson, and Knox. You cool with this group? I mean, I think Bowers is elite, so yeah. I'm yeah. fine with doing him and two later guys. Uh, Knox is a guy I haven't been taking, though. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, like, he can get a touchdown here. Injury. I mean, I just think Kincaid's going to come on, basically. Mm -hmm. more. But he's also he's getting up there. I mean, he could still, I guess, get a touchdown here and there. But that's that a bad 20th round hit. is getting ugly, and especially if you need tight ends. I don't, I don't hate the Knox pick. I really don't. But yeah, like I said, I try to get. I w I don't like to wait quite that late for my, especially if I'm doing both of them. I'd rather get somebody a little sooner. But I do think Bowers is late, so at least you got that. Yeah, yeah, I think the capitals correct. Pacheco, Singletary, Herbert, Allen, Elijah Mitchell, Gus Edwards, Rico Dow. Little hero RB, seven yeah. pick drop on Pacheco. Again, I'm. A, I mean, Mitchell didn't do much for. I mean, obviously, we know the handcuff situation. Mm. Um, I said I don't think Doddle's gonna be any more than handcuffs. So, if somebody goes down, yeah, I don't hate it. I just like to get some maybe like more a, a little more upside. I feel like it yeah. could be maybe maybe one of those pick. Like I don't mind like. Maybe one of them be like a fun rookie or something instead of both. Like Audric Estime or something, something I can get maybe yeah. a good landing spot. 
get a somebody first mixed and second in down roll. I like the Khalil Herbert pick for this team, though. Um, yeah, I do like the Herbert pick. Definitely leaning into Singletary uh, being the guy there in Herbert, but uh, I think the I think the Capitals okay, maybe a little little light, but it's very similar. It's very similar to our team. We're we're very light, but uh, but we're fu- we're that's fun. that's because of the Bryce Young click. Right. Yeah, I, I would I would have liked Bryce to be. Around that, but. I, I think the Capitals good here. Lamb, Samuel, Diggs, Ridley. Oh, it's a it's a good receiver room. Here. That's sick. Dotson and Andre. Um, got the Lamb stack. You got the Debo stack. That's a nice squad. No one really fell. Just got your guys. Yeah, I don't take Dotson though, but it is still a good team. It's it's interesting though, right? Like no Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel was acting as the number two there. If they can get an upgrade at QB, be- is there a way that Dotson pays out this ADP? Mm, well, he he looked pretty bad. The numbers were pretty bad. He was not. And they're gonna draft somebody, I think. There you go. So. If that's if that's what you're thinking, then lean into that take and <laughs> Dotson slot. There we go. It, it, I mean, I, I, I wanted to believe it. You know, sometimes the guys that hurt me, I, I really knock them the next year. I take yeah. it out on them. I don't forget. That's hilarious. No, me too. I I think you have to. I think you have to. My Dotson's um, probably I clicked them one time out of 49. Yeah. So I I tend to agree there. Nick in the five spot with Burrow, Lawrence, and Deshaun Watson. Kittle, Okonkwo, and Hudson. I don't want to hurt anymore. That's like the cheeky click for me. Yeah, and I'm. Yeah, that 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 tight end room. You think you think you need a little more because it's King with Kittle. If this is Kincaid, would you like it better? Oh, I don't know. That's tough. <laughs> I do feel like. I like no. I still, I still like Kittle, but oh man, I wouldn't have waited till Chick. Chick, Chick was not Chick, good Chick. again. I mean, I mean that's yeah. If you had just taken somebody earlier, like you know, more in like that Juwan Johnson range, or even you know a few picks earlier, it would it would look better. And I mean, come on, Tanner Hudson is not going into the season. Is there tight end one? I'm a preseason Damn. hero, Tanner Hudson. I can't talk bad. Damn. But they're gonna get, they're gonna get somebody. Wait, damn, this is great. I want to believe time, they're gonna get Bowers. Next time Nick is on the live stream and he's creating a Steph Miller team, I can oh, already man. see the bias coming out. I can already feel it. I can uh, already sense. Don't it. hurt me, Nick. Yeah, <laughs> Barkley, Cook, Eckler, White, oh. Dobbins, and Chris Rod. Oh, the RB rooms. Okay. Everybody, I'm, no, it's not. It's everybody I'm fading. Come on, but. <laughs> Eckler 16 picks after ADP. I don't mind the Eckler after. I don't mind Barkley the click. could pick. get a good landing spot. That's the scary it, thing with Barkley, though. I'm I am afraid to fully fade Barkley because of yeah. Like, a team that's gonna bring him in is a team that's going to try to make a deep playoff run. You could use that, I guess, a counter argument. Like they'll try to rest him a little more towards towards the end of the season. But it should be a team that's in contention. Like you're not gonna bring in Barkley and be like, all right, Saquon, like come over to you know. A team such as like Carolina, they wouldn't do that because they paid Sanders a crazy amount of money. But like Houston or, yeah. or Dallas, like he has. If he goes to spot. Houston, and I will definitely be catching back up, probably. Right, but he won't rise that much, so I think it's okay to yeah have that stance right now. I just want to make sure he's good, like to deserve that place. I mean, he's mm-hmm. going really early, like. I don't know how good he is anymore. I know how good he was, but and Dobbins, like I said, he's another one I'm out on with the injury. That's I, that's I where my lean, eye went to those guys. I do tend to lean. I give him the benefit of the doubt. I'd say with the efficiency and being on the Giants, a team that's not threatening to pass, a team that doesn't have the receivers that can, you know, stretch the field. Um, I'm sure, they had Jalen Hyatt, a rookie who's not productive in his first year, but. Uh, 16 picks after ADP on Eckler. I'm, I'm okay with that click there. 
Yeah, I'll take I take Eckler when he falls sometimes. It's it's you know, you're not overly excited, but you're like, okay, if I'm not gonna take him here, like when would I? And uh yeah. we'll see where he lands too. Yeah. Dobbins on a team like this, I do think could make sense. Team that can sort of support him until, you know, week six I, if they had to, week eight, whatever. And they bring a late Christmas. I'm I'm worried about his health. I just don't trust like I said, I, I lean into some of that. But then on the other side, I was like super bullish. Like I had no problem drafting freeze. The young guys, the, the clean ACL tear, right. I'm fine with. And I will take when people are nervous about some of those. But some of the multiple multi-ligament stuff of guys that are older, I just don't know if they needed that explosion. I just don't know if, what they're yeah. going to get back. Right. It's true with the Achilles. Um, Achilles, I am terrified but, of. But it's worth the risk at 197, I would say. I'm, when you can support him, I think it's okay. I, I'm fine being wrong. I was out yeah. on Acres. I said the same thing. Even yeah, when was his miraculous. Acres was doesn't like matter. Even when his. No, in general, I'm just talking about Achilles. I mean, just when yeah. the miraculous healing, like, no, we saw it, it was not miraculous healing. Yeah. Unfortunately, Achilles is a killer for running backs. I don't blame you either way. I think personally, I'll be around six to eight percent for the what if. What if a miracle happens? <laughs> Chase Pittman, Amari Cooper, Jacoby Myers, McConkey, Michael Wilson. Every time, Nick. Every, every time, Nick. Do we have to go, Michael Wilson? Every Why? Time? So why? why I don't. I don't get the Michael Wilson. I he mean, if we think that they're going to take a safety, he like he's got his warm blanket safe? on. It's heavy. It's keeping him comfortable. He's I, he's a deep threat, and they're going to take probably the top receiver in the draft. How is he safe? He thinks he's safe. <laughs> <laughs> he feels safe right now, but it's the exact thing. Like you don't see what could occur. You could. You should be able to see the potential of like Marvin Harrison Jr. going there. But like Michael Wilson instantly becomes a third favorite target behind Trey McBride and Marvin Harrison Jr. That's why I don't love him. I think he's okay if you're pairing with Kyler. And I still think he's like a relatively safe click in that range. But he brings in Lad too here. And uh arguably the way more fun click. <laughs> give me the give me the mystery box in Lad. And then the Douglas fall. He loves Demario Douglas. I do He's like a Giants Douglas fan, too. but honestly, I think Nick's a closet Patriot fan. No, I take a lot of Douglas. He does feel like he's going to get some volume there, whether it's mm. – I mean, at the price. Yeah, they're, the team's I, the I team's don't hate hurting. that one. They, they should be playing from behind. Yeah. They should be throwing the ball. Thing is, the defense could keep games close, and it could just be ugly again in New England. Um, it's not really that narrative team that's like uh, they shouldn't be getting absolutely blown out based on their defense. But now I don't up, usually take it before ADP. It's more one of those guys. If he falls a little bit, I'll take. Yeah, but, and one seventy three is fine. I, I'm cool with Douglas nah, here. I just um, had to give more hard time. So funny. <laughs> and then Brendan Rice. I'm not overly impressed with this tape. I mean, I'm not a scout, but well, he's a big guy. Yeah, I, Come on. I don't know. He's got the he's know. got the lineage. I like I like Taj. I like Taj over Brendan Rice. Okay, pretty, that's pretty wild. too much. No, <laughs> we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this exact moment. Logan in the sixth spot with Fields and Tua. That's a fun pairing. I'm not. It's not that I'm not a fan of Lad. I see. I see the comment from Ad under there. Um, there's just he he hasn't uh, he never. He's smaller, and I just haven't seen the production. Mm. I know he had a good – I want to see how he tests, but, I mean, he's he's pretty rich right now for where he's – the guys he's going above. I want to see, like, what – Do you like, like, Worthy? Do you like Worthy over Lad? Oh, uh, yeah. I want to push Worthy even higher. I was actually talking, but there's red flags about him too. But yeah, um, like, he's productive and fast. Size, and right? Is it – it's yeah. weight? But, it's like mostly small. Yeah, I want to see where the, both of them weigh in at. I mean, both of them are probably going to be slot guys at the next level. 
you know, regardless, even though we've seen some just a slot guys do really good, like, you know, in these years, but I, I mean, I want them to be as fast as we think they are, you know, <laughs> and I want to see what some of the draft capital can be. I love this. So Marquise Brown, I think, are you, are you expecting Marquise Brown to move on from Arizona? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe, maybe Nick's right. Maybe Nick's seeing it, seeing it the right way. Our well, again, all of the we'll, coverage, everyone on the field. When guys aren't great their first season, that's where I'm having the problems. I used to give people a lot more chances, but when we see these guys that aren't, doing well there's you know a lot of the stats are not showing that they're just taking these giant break you know leaps forward breaking out in these year two especially when they get a shot yeah. Yeah. it's not like they weren't playing yeah he was injured some but yeah all right moving on to logan with fields and tua good pairing in that range i i love clicking qb in that range the 80 to to 110 brings in two you cool with just just sticking with these? Mm, not with fields, just because of the uncertainty, not the draft capital. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't correct. Yeah, I guess <laughs> that's the that that's a tough one, and I and I push it, but I don't know if I have because it's like we're seeing a whole new side to Steph right now. She I loves to push running back. Doesn't like to push QB. Oh yes, I do. I, I push right. it, but I don't All know right. if I I. But that feels like really pushing it for some reason. Really, just feel, I'm feels. Okay. I'm okay feels with it because of the risky the side. We don't know uh, what situation. I just wouldn't want a zero possibly for like part of the season. Miami feels like they have to help to it too. Feels like they have to bring in a third, not even maybe two. They have to help like Hill and Waddle. Like not having a great pass catching tight end, not having a great number three. Feels like a good year for Miami to add a receiver to this group. Or a tight end. Or a tight end. Bingo. A Chan, Aaron Jones, Rashawn Johnson, Jaleel, Audrey Estime, Ray Davis, and AJ Dillon. Seems like a strong group to me. I like it. Hell yeah. Those are those are my guys. Receivers. Sorry, I was reading I was reading the chat and got distracted about <laughs> them wanting to have us as a battle between me and Nick there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. All right, we'll we'll set it up. We'll set it up. <laughs> Amon Ra Waddle, London, Dobbs, Polk, Pearsall, AT Perry, and Cowan. It's a fun team. Yeah. This is fun. This is something I would draft. So I like it. Definitely leaning into uh, one of these rookies, really smashing. I would say. Um, I mean, I think it's a great shot that we're going to see multiple of these rookies. Yeah, oh, smashing. Definitely. I mean, I, I mean, this definitely. class is so much better. Kincaid, Schultz, and Allen. You cool with these three? Yeah. Yeah. I like Kincaid, like Schultz. I think is staying and. So if you think Schultz is staying, you like the ADP, I would assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same, same. Cool. Nice draft by uh, by Logan there. Ours with A. Rich, Kyler, the Bryce Young pick's going to irk me all night. I'm going to have to draft another <laughs> team after this just because of it off stream. So I'm mad. I, I may hop in one to hell, so yeah, we can hell get, yeah. We can get the Carolina Funk off us. If you guys want, if you guys want to draft with us off stream, join the Discord links in the description. We have a currently drafting section with filled drafts. Uh, Sam Laporta, Sanders, and Brevin Jordan don't need Brevin if you want to lean into Sanders here. But twenty round draft, uh, what's what's really the hurt? Well, if we knew we were getting Bryce Young, we probably would have skipped him and take a running back. One hundred percent. One hundred. If if it had uh, happened in a reverse. So mad. James Conner, Hubbard, Jonathan Brooks, Trey Benson, Tyler Algier, Antonio Gibson. I'm still okay with it, but we definitely need one of these two to smash. And uh, we need probably a good landing spot for Gibson. Obviously, James Conner. Like, let's say James Conner goes down for four games because he's going to. Could be It could be rough sledding. 
could be rough sledding. Wait, does, Chris Rod gonna, does Chris Rodriguez? Right I'm not. See, I'm not convinced that like. Okay, so we get Israel Abenaconda here instead of Bryce Young. We feel a little more happy because we have an extra option at RB. But Israel Abenaconda could very well be a zero this year. Like he could very well not contribute if Bryce Young stays healthy. I mean, I think he's definitely going to be the backup. And I don't think, and the thing is, they have so much capital invested in Brees, they're not going to take another running back. Right. So he's going to have some sort of role. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of, and, and he looked pretty good. I mean, by the end, like he was coming on. That's what I want to see at least. Even if guys were injured, I want to see them improving and coming on, not mm -hmm. falling off. You know, climbing right. up the depth chart. No, I so. I agree, but I, I think in order for him to to, I don't think he's going to have as much of a role as like Tyler. He's not going to be like a change of pace back where it's like one no. A, one B, or even like he's more like a a three to Brees Brees Young's one A, one B, one C. But again, we're drafting him in the nineteenth and twentieth round. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I'm just trying to sell yeah. to myself mentally that Bryce Young. Oops, was not as bad. Puka, Marvin yeah. Harrison, Keenan, and Reed with Josh Downs, Thielen, Thrash, and McMillan. To have both Adam Thielen and Bryce Young on the same team, I'm going to dislike This is not my friend. brand. I'm going to dislike This is not my friend. <laughs> 30 picks after ADP. It's fine. It's fine. 30 picks after ADP on Bryce Young, too. It was meant to be. At, at least we got some youth. At yeah. I'm cool with this team. It's it's different. It's different. And Frank in the 11 spot, Stroud in love. So two QBs that I think are overpriced. And uh, let's see the rest of the squad. Goddard. See, Mayer, I, I like love. Center. I think it's fine. Okay. I'm good with these four. I don't think it's too much. Do you think this is too much having four here? I don't think the four is too much, but like I was saying, I'm not big on the late tight end rookies. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I like, I, I mean, he's fine for, like I said, dynasty, maybe taking a flyer, but you know, if he lands Enough. somewhere that he could be used right away, then I I'm fine getting a share or two right. at that point. Running back yeah, games, Chase Brown, Charbonnet, Ford, Hill, Dylan, Kimani. Those are some uh that's like some it. stands there. Those are some sleepers. I love it. I, love it. I haven't I taken it. any Dylan Johnson yet. I, I've thought about that. The other guy, I don't I have no idea on him. I'll have to look him up after this. His, he's got the stats to back, but his tape's it's not like school. Like, so I will say like I watched his tape again today uh, because I, I watched it a while back and then Frank showed me his screenshot of like 29% and he's done like 70 something drafts. It's like, all right, let me, let me look again. He's got good speed coming out of the gate and he'll reach that second level, but he can't break away from the second level. He gets caught a lot, mm, but uh, that's not, yeah, I want those. I want to say guys. Uh, Adam says Dylan Johnson is a fun ish one. <laughs> Nico, neighbors, Devonta Smith, Godwin, Watson, Zay Jones, and Palmer. I like this group. Yeah, I mean, you're leaning into, you know, you're you're mostly you're leaning into neighbors hitting, obviously, and you're probably leaning into Watson hitting on on this type build. I mean, yeah, I like taking Godwin and Palmer, especially if you think Evans is gone. I would with this in mind, they're probably having... gonna rise. Yeah, yep. Which makes Palmer an okay pick. But wasn't he like a? Yeah, it's fine. Palmer it's actually fine. looked decent last year. I mean, he he he, he did. got some stuff yeah. on the end. I I mean, yeah, Palmer. I don't hate. I like Palmer. I prefer Palmer to some of those other year two guys in that range. I Even if they go Senate a little before him. A receiver. I'd like it a little more and then lean into these three, yeah. lean into Mike Evans leaving and Kate and get a boost, lean into a year two mayor with Goddard and then add another receiver. Yeah. I don't think you needed four in that build. I mean, 
I I've done it before tight end build, but usually it's I'm weaker than that when yeah. I do it. Cool. All right, guys. Steph, tell the people what you have going on. Well, right now I am doing working on some dynasty rankings um, over on Legendary Upside with me and Pat are collaborating on those, getting them out and trying to keep them updated for you guys. And then Hell yeah. hanging out in the best ball streets here and drafting some teams. Let's go. Steph, always a fun one when you join us. Um, guys, if you haven't already, go down, slap the like on the video. Steph's information is in the description. Give her a follow on the Twitter. You can also catch her in the Discord. We're lucky enough to have her as part of the part of the squad. Nick, I, I can't tell if this is threatening. <laughs> we might we might have to, we have to figure that out. X Factor, we'll have I'll have to check this out afterwards, Mitch. Um, but I appreciate you guys all coming out, slapping the like, and uh, you know, just supporting the stream every single week. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Powders. <laughs>